Greetings. So this is going to be a tarot review and an unboxing of the El Tarot Deck, the Millennial Loteria Edition, which I do happen to own both the original Millennial Loteria um, game and the L expansion pack of that and for those of you that don't know what the little idea is it's like a, a game it's a bingo game I guess it's the best way I can describe it um I was drawn to the little idea for divinational purposes so you guys may have seen me use those cards before on my channel if you guys are you know y'all my subscribers you guys know if you are new to my channel welcome or you're just watching greetings um but i have used those two decks um the loth idea decks for divinational purposes i also own um a selena loth idea deck that i use for divinational purposes so i don't actually use them to play as they're intended to they're a game like a lottery or bingo game you i guess you would call it so i was excited when i seen these for pre-order so i just got them today they were actually released today but i pre-ordered them so they came same day as the release which i'm excited about so yeah i'm going to um unbox this deck i've already took the plastic off of it but i have not opened the deck yet so you guys will be seeing this um along with me so let's just adjust this yeah i, I love the whole mermaid thing <laughs> she's on a broomstick it's dope i'm assuming she's the high priestess in this deck just assuming um this is really dope i love the holographics of it it's really nice okay so let's go ahead and unbox this lovely deck with me Okay, let's pull it out. Okay, so it's kind of similar. It's very, sh it's like a short deck. This isn't a standard size uh, tarot deck. So I'm going to use this card as an example. So this would be like a standard size. Um, I feel like, mm, we'll see. The box is about uh, maybe an inch shorter than a traditional size tarot deck i do like the boxing because i do not care for boxes that are papered like these i don't care for these types of boxes because they wear very quickly and easily even when you store them somewhere they still like have a tendency when you open them often so i do prefer like boxes like this or larger size boxes like similar to how the the Lotaia actual game cards come in. I prefer like boxes instead. And this was very easy to open. I don't know whoever, a lot of you probably own the Modern Witch Tarot deck, but when I first um, tried to open the Modern Witch Tarot, I had the damnedest time and, and my nails too just was not working. I actually had to use a knife to get my deck out. I don't know if anybody else had that issue, but I had that issue. So I do like the packaging of the box and the pastel colors. I'm a fan of that. So here's the guidebook. It is a nice sized. Oh, it's all color. Okay. <laughs> so guidebook, you're looking pretty fancy. Okay. How to read the tarot card. Step uno, which is step one. Step dos, step two, step tres, <laughs> three, and so on and so forth. So then it goes into the meaning of the full card. So it's getting into the major arcana cards. Um, you have the upright and then you have the reversal. So it's kind of like... You can use this as a game as well, I'm assuming, because it says player one, press start. You're about to go on an adventure. Maybe not. <laughs> I think it's um, one of the characters. I don't remember which character this is in the Lothaia, but I do recognize that card. And you have the magician. Yeah, the high priestess. La, high priestess. I love it. El magician. So it is, you know, still, um, still has that um, Spanish in it you know like the little idea how it has the different i'll show you guys in a second i might um do a reading with the little idea deck and the tarot together but here's the empress la empress el emperor los lovers el hierophant 
I love it. Okay, so I want to see if there's any spreads or anything because some decks they have spreads, tarot spreads. Okay, so this doesn't come with spreads, so it, it's a full color book, which is really cool. I like it. Um, yeah, so kudos to the, the guidebook. So let's open the tarot now. Yeah, this is a smaller deck, it's not a standard size tarot deck. Compare it to this is a standard size tarot card. So yeah, so it's about the same width. Just the length is about an inch, maybe an inch or a half shorter than a traditional tarot deck, which is okay. So if you have small hands, you probably like this deck. I don't know why I just did that. <laughs> Cause sometimes I like to, I just, it's a habit just to shuffle. So um, let me see gonna see where I messed up at so I can okay um, okay let me see okay I think I see where I messed up at all right. all right I'm probably not gonna go through each and every card or I'm gonna go through it really fast so you guys can get the gist there's the full L magician and the cardstock just to get into the cardstock it's like a gloss finish which I like so um, it is a similar card stock to the um, Modern Witch Tarot, so if you guys are familiar with that, it's like almost a laminated feel, so if you get it wet, it's not going to damage the card, like let's say you spill something, just wipe it really quickly and so it doesn't saturate the sides of the cards, you're, you're fine. The Empress, so I like the finish of it. The Emperor... I haven't shuffled them yet, but I already have a feeling that it's easy to shuffle. They're not sticky at all. The Hierophant, the Little Frog, the Lo Losa Lovers, El Chariot, El Shrimp. That's so cool. I like that. El Hermit, <laughs> La Will of Fortune. That's dope. I like this. El Justice, El Hanged One. That's interesting. I like how they played with the hook. That's cool. I like that. La Death, La Temperance. I don't really vibe with this. The Devil card is always funny to me because in the Lotharia, <laughs> the Devil is the El Fuckboy, I think it is, in that deck. So I just I thought it was funny. La Tower, La Star, La Moon, El Sun, El Judgment, and and the world okay so that is the major arcana portion of the deck so the cups start the deck so you have the two of cups those de cups there's ace <laughs> the king of wands yeah i shuffled this so we're just we're just gonna go through it we're just gonna wing it king of or queen of wands knight of wands Page of Wands, the Ten of Wands, the Nine of Wands, the Eight of Wands, Seven of Wands. You would have to, um, I guess, you would have to know the span, like the numbers in Spanish. Six of Wands. So they don't have imagery on these. Um, so there's a lot of it's not a lot of characters in the cards like you know in the traditional tarot deck um so this would be the five of wands so yeah that would i'm gonna be honest that's decks that come with ooh, decks that come with the like just the numbers of whatever the suit is and then you know i don't really like that i like to have the imagery i like to have um, a setting, a scenery of what's going on, you know, what's taking place. So you would have to know the basic meaning of the tarot card. Um, you know, if you're a beginner, maybe that might work for you just to learn the meaning of the cards. But even in a traditional tarot deck, there's a setting, there's a scenery, there's something going on in the back. So the Ace of Wands, there is a hand in the Aces, so that is similar to the traditional tarot so what you're getting you're you're only going to see characters in the major arcanas and in the court cards um the pages through the kings so anything else 
the coin, the Bitcoins. Yeah, they they have had the Bitcoins in there, and the Millennial Terra or Lotharia, which is is cool too. So the Bitcoins would be obviously the Pentacles. Very millennial, very new age, because you know that's a big thing now. Okay, so you have the ten of Bitcoins, page of Bitcoins. Yeah, that's the only thing. The nine of, of Bitcoins, the eight of Bitcoins, um, seven of Bitcoins. So yeah, the bonus to this is you would learn how to utilize Spanish a little bit because um, they have the numbers in Spanish. Five of Bitcoins, four of Bitcoins, three of Bitcoins, and two of Bitcoins. Ace of Bitcoins, the King of Swords. Why he in his drawers and his boots? Is he a stripper? What's going on? Queen of Swords, Knight of Swords. So all the knights would be soldiers. The Page of Swords, the Ten of Swords, the Nine of Swords. The lettering is very big as well. That's cool. That's good because sometimes. You know, some people have bad eyesight. I know I do, so I I appreciate the big letters, the big font. Ocho, eight of swords. Siete, seven of swords. Sias de swords, six of swords. Cinco de swords, five of swords. Corto, corto, oh my God. <laughs> de swords, four of swords. Tres de swords, three of swords. Dos de swords, two of swords, and ace of swords we're gonna finish the cups because i think i shuffled it and i kind of messed it up a little bit king of cups why are the kings in their drawers like in their boots they strippers I'm telling you i don't know what these ladies is doing with these stripper men like what they gonna do okay knight of cups soldier of love page of cups um ten of cups <laughs> nine of cups Eight of Cups, Seven of Cups, Six of Cups, Five of Cups, Four of Cups, and Three of Cups. So I'm going to shuffle this deck just to, to get a good feel of it. They are very thick in your hands. See, it's, it's they're pretty wide. Um, it could be because of the cardstock. It's quite durable. Like I said, this is not an easy bendable deck. So, you know, that might work well for some of you guys. It's not extra thin and paper-like. Um, so that works well. If you guys like to do that, that bridge, that... I don't think this is the deck to do it. Yeah, it's a little harder to do a, a bridge shuffle with this deck because... It's um, very thick. The deck is thick itself. Okay. So we're just gonna break these bad boys in. And they don't, they're not a um, sticky deck. Like, you know how sometimes you get those glossy decks and they stick together and it's hard to shuffle them or you might have to pull them apart and then you might have that issue where it tears on the front of the deck. This, you don't have that with this deck. All right. So, so far, I really like the quality of the cards. I do. Um, the the boxing, I love the, the box. I love that you can store it easily. It's a fairly short deck. So, if you're like um, a backpacker or you are the, the big handbag type and you like to carry your decks with you, you can take this box with you, like, no problem. Or you can get one of those little drawstring bags I dropped few cards on the floor so i'm going to take those three cards because i'm assuming this is our message so i'm going to take these three they fell on the floor okay so all right what do we have here we have the five of bitcoins five of pentacles the star the two of swords all right so for some of you the message let's 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 get into it All right, so the message that I'm getting from the five of pentacles or bitcoins, the star and the two of swords, is that for some of you, you might be in a place right now where you're, you don't have the means. 
you don't have the finances right now but spirit is saying that you're destined for much more that your dreams don't allow what you see in the physical the loss or the lack what you see in the physical to make you feel as though you're not in alignment or that you're not destined for more or greater because i do feel like for some of you, you this could be i'm getting overnight now i have to be careful with this message it's general but i get that this is an overnight success for some of you where you go from rags to rich riches or just i'm getting some type of um you're going to excel for some of you it might be fame but i don't want to put that out there if that's not for everybody but you know take it lightly dose of source it's your choice some of you guys it's all about your mindset are you going to live in the spirit of lack or are you going to live in the spirit of knowing that you can have exceedingly and abundantly of all that you can ever ask for so i'm going to pull some from the lotaria cards just to clarify as an like kind of like an oracle Now, these are more, um, they have more options. So, I'm assuming the creator had to kind of condense and take what was relevant to the tarot and use that to create this deck because there's a lot of different um, card numbers. Okay, Holy Spirit, can you please clarify this spread? angels and this is the spirit guys thank you the El Selfie card which is our high priestess card in this tarot deck she came out and I feel like for some of you guys know that you're destined for this and some of you guys you are um, you know you, you put yourself out in the public maybe you you take pictures maybe you you like the ocean maybe you live near the ocean maybe that's your dream to live near the water or the ocean for some of you guys have a platform where you post a lot of selfies or pictures some of you guys um could be modeling um for whether you're male or female doesn't matter some of you guys it could just be that you have a lot of eyes on you uh people that are watching you okay <laughs> you might have a man bun <laughs> Some of you guys might have a, a person with a man bun and you guys like to shop. So some of you guys might need to cut down on your, your expenses, your spending. Someone is like, okay, well, I have to look good. I have to get my hair cut. I have to get, you know, get a, a lineup, a, a touch up if that, for the men out there, for the women. You know, I have to look right. I have to look nice. Spirit is saying you can do that on a budget, okay? Prime shipping. It, it's nothing, okay? Don't overextend or spend your money, okay? it's all about wise decisions and choices don't focus on the lack but also be wise in your your habits yeah you guys are about to excel you guys are about to climb higher okay jacob's ladder <laughs> all right that was the traditional millennium look at yeah i'm going to use the extended pack now to clarify this a little bit further i just want to show y'all how i do it okay i'm an oracle i can use anything i can use playing cards i can use uno cards <laughs> oh i blended them sorry so we already used them okay so i didn't even need that <laughs> i already used them i blended them with the um the regular the millennial the first edition so we've already did that so we're good but yeah um I do really like these cards though. I used to like using them a lot in some of my readings. Um, so you can see some of the imagery and where they got the um, <laughs> the El Sushi. I love it. So the extended pack. Oh, here's the fuck boy. This card is so funny to me. And to be honest, this was the, the reason why I bought the extended pack because I like this card. I was like, this card is funny. And, <laughs> you know, for love readings, if you need a, a heads up, a warning, like hey he a fuck boy don't don't do it don't do it sis don't do it bro don't do it so yeah that is pretty much it so overall um overall rating i would give the el tarot deck a um out of five stars i would give it four stars because the only thing that i did not really like so much is um like i said decks that don't have the a setting of imagery in the minor arcanas they just use the suit of whatever it is and then use the number of that so i'm just you know i'm not a big fan of it 
So the characters that you see will only be in the majors and the court cards. The minors through the, the aces through the tens is just gonna simply be the items of that suit and the numbers of that suit. Um, I do, so that's my only con. Everything else is a pro, like the card stock, the size, I'm not really tripping off of the size because I have small hands and it's easy for me to shuffle them. They're just really wide stocked though, but that's not a problem. I like the gloss, I like the, you know, um, if this was to, I accidentally spill some water and some coffee on my cards, it's not really necessarily going to damage them because they have that gloss. Um, the shuffle part, okay, that might be a con. The shuffle is a little difficult. I'm not gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'm not. Gonna, I am being honest. Excuse me. Hey, um, I'm talking really fast. So I'm, let me slow down. The cardstock, the thickness, and the shuffle because I do like to bridge shuffle too. I don't mind shuffling hand in, hand out, but. Um, for those of you that like to bridge shuffle, it's going to be kind of difficult unless you have like some really strong hands or you're a man and you, it's nothing to you. It's a little difficult. These cards are not easily bendable. That is a pro for me because I don't like cards that just easily bend um, and they stay that way. You guys know how that is. This is not a deck that's going to easily wear on you either. So if you shuffle it a bit, it's not going to have like any scratches or paper or the coloring starting to fade. You don't have that issue. It's very similar to the card stock of the Modern Witch Tarot. It's just an inch shorter than a traditional tarot deck. The same width of a tarot deck, just shorter length. Um, for beginners, I would probably not recommend this deck. It's a fun deck to use. Um, if you're an intuitive and you, you, know, you don't solely base off of the traditional meanings of the tarot, then go for it. If you're someone that wants to learn the tarot through and through, this deck may not be for you because it does lack the imagery and the minor arcana so and you're not getting a traditional um imagery in any of the cards this deck is um fashioned and inspired by the lotaria and specifically the millennial lotaria because that um the creator added his own touch to the lotaria which i loved and he added extra cards so i thought that was really dope and that's what drawn me to those cards in the first place but for um, beginners, I wouldn't necessarily suggest this unless you're a beginner that just like wants to go for it. Like me, I wasn't drawn to traditional decks. I It took me a while to use the Rider Waits, believe it or not, um, when I first started. So I'm more of an intuitive reader than I am, you know, by the book reader. But the by the book is also helpful. And also, if you want to learn a little bit of Spanish or teach Spanish to someone of your, you know, that you're reading for, that's an extra bonus. It's, it's dope. It, it's lit. So... <laughs> That is this um, review, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I don't do these often, but you know, this deck, I was excited to get it. This is one of the decks that I was like, okay, when I saw it, I'm like, I have to get it, because when I first saw the Millennial Lothar, yeah, I'm like, okay, I know it's a playing deck, like a card game, but I wanna use it for divinational purposes, which it was like, it's so easy to read with. I just loved it. So much love to you guys. I appreciate you, be blessed, be safe, peace.